Hey, what's up everyone? Luis here back again with my top 5 Cedia tweaks of the week for the month of December for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Just want to let you guys know that even though I am using an iPad, all of the tweaks are compatible with any device running iOS 8 or iOS 8.1. I will also leave everything you guys will need including the name, repo, and price of each tweak in the description below. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the best tweaks of the week. Coming in at number 5 is Grid Switcher. Now what this tweak allows you to do is basically have an alternative multitasking for the apps that are running in the background. So back in iOS 7, Apple introduced the Cards multitasking in which you double tap the home screen button to see which of your apps are active. But Grid Switcher takes all of these apps and rearranges them in a grid layout. This in my opinion is a far better way to see which apps are running in the background just because you have a lot more space to work with. You can also customize a grid with either a 2x2, 3x3, or 4x4 layout by going into the settings of the tweak. And it's been around for a while, but I still recommend it for its functionality. At number 4 we have the tweak Everest. The idea behind it is very simple, it actually just uses an activator gesture to give you a banner right below the notification center that shows what song an artist is playing at the moment. It also lets you play and pause, skip the song, and even swipe to go forward or backwards. Everest also comes up every time you change the song, and overall I have to say that this tweak may appear to be a little bit simple, but don't overestimate it. There have been many times where I really just wanted to know the name of a song, and the banner just popped out of nowhere, and I was really really happy. So definitely give this one a shot, it is well worth it. Coming in at number 3 is one that I think should have been in Cydia a while ago and its name is Advanced Settings 8. If you're not completely satisfied with the amount of settings that iOS has, then pay attention because this tweak is right for you. Right after you install the tweak, you can hold on to the settings icon on your home screen and easily enough you'll get the underlying toggles that Apple has been hiding from us. You can now customize just about anything, from the ability to have nested folders to animation speeds. The possibilities are endless here. Seriously, if you play around with it for a while, you can have your iPhone or iPad the way you truly want it to be. And the runner-up tweak for this week is also a multitasking app, but this one blows every other one right out of the water. We're talking about app heads, possibly the multitasking experience that we all have been waiting for. If you're familiar with chat heads from Facebook, this tweak works very similarly, but instead of the heads being your contacts, they're actual apps running in the background. So when you tap on one of these, you get sort of a preview overlaid in the home screen, and you can even overlay apps on top of each other, and I really have enjoyed using this tweak and cannot recommend it enough for how good it is. It's quick, responsive, and easily the best multitasking tweak so far. And finally, the absolute best tweak of the week by far is Smart Tab. Android has a feature that I use all the time on my LG G2 and that is the ability to double tap the screen to wake up or turn off the device. And there has never been an iOS device before that has been able to do that until now. Yes, that's right. I don't know how this is even possible, but now you can actually double tap on your iPhone or iPad to turn it on. It also works extremely well and is very responsive most of the time. Again, props to the creator of this tweak, I have no idea how he did it without some kind of software optimization, but hey, that's why we love Jailbreak. That's been it, thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe down below, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one.